Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are over here at Rick's helping him with his new field. Uh, his old field finally failed, which just happens over time with septic systems. You know, you start getting solids that make it out of the tank, go into the field. Uh, for whatever reason, the field just gets clogged up. It happens. And so what happens is you need to actually install a new drain field. It doesn't mean that you got to pull the septic tank or anything, but you do have to do an entirely new drain field. So we're going to do just a quick overview of what that looks like. So what we've got here is we've got the septic tank exposed. You can see right here where the whole, uh, the pipe exited the tank. And then we have our new trench that is going down to the new drain field. It is code that you have to have fall, obviously going from here to the drain field because water has to flow. So that's one very important component. The other component that goes into setting our elevation out here in the field is code requires you have at least a foot of cover over top of the pipe out here in the drain field but no more than two feet of cover so there is a pretty strict area that you have to fall in if you want to have a standard drain field and uh, rick luckily with this area here was able to meet those requirements if you don't meet those requirements then you have to move into some sort of an engineered field whether it's a mound system that's pressurized or you know stuff like that that's a whole other topic of discussion when it comes to the physical size of the field, that is actually told to you by the health department. It's not like Rick had a square footage that he had to meet and he could make it any way he wanted. Uh, the health department did tell him what this field needed to be, the shape of it. So that is told to you by the state when you file for a permit to do this. For a drain field like this, it is doable as a homeowner. I will tell you it is doable as a homeowner, but you may not think it's as cheap and you're gonna skimp out as much as you might think because a lot of your material has to be trucked in. You have to use a certain type of stone. You have to use a certain type of sand for these beds. So all of that material gets trucked in. The reason contractors can do it a little cheaper than you might be able to as a homeowner is because they generally own a truck and they can haul their own material. So they have that going for them. So you might wanna price your material. You are gonna to have to calculate how much material you're gonna need in the hole and do all of those calculations before you really go down the road to committing to do this to yourself because you know it very well could be you break even with what you would have done for having a contractor do it. All that being said, what we're gonna do, in the trench coming from the septic tank, it has to be scheduled 40 PVC. And then once we get out here, you're going to flip over to drain pipe. Oop, let's see if I can't trip here. So this is our drain pipe. You'll probably be familiar from seeing this at Home Depot. It's got, it's very thin walls. It's very light. It's got the black interior. This is solid pipe. It is not perforated. And then we have perforated pipe. What we're about to do, and we will take a time lapse of this to show you the process. We have to lay down about five and a half inches of stone here in the hole. And it has to be perfectly level. What we're going to do is we're going to build with solid pipe a header that's going to go across and that will distribute to fingers that run down this drain field and then we will have a footer that ties all the pipes together at the end. This header, because it is for distribution, has to be solid non-perforated pipe. All of the fingers and the footer at the base are perforated pipe because the water has already been distributed through the field. They don't care if the footer where it ties it all back together, they don't care if that's perforated, but the header itself has to be solid pipe. And so once we do that, then you have to cover it with stone. And like I said, then you've got to bring that up and it, the pipe has to have a one, one foot of cover total. So, and then we'll, you know, once we get all of the stone in, then we're actually going to cover it over with topsoil. So I'm going to set up a time lapse so that you can watch that process. As always, I'm going to try to get some video shots of the skid running and dumping stone to make it more interesting for you. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So we'll catch you guys here in a little bit.
All right, guys. It's time for me to put it to your egos. I want you to see something right here. You see that? We just don't want the wind to blow away. He's nine years old. So, and you see what's in his hand? A shovel. And he hasn't complained one time. So if a nine-year-old can get on a shovel without complaining, you as a grown-ass man can get on a shovel without complaining. So I know I harp on this. It's the best way to learn the industry. And he's doing it right now. Hang on, I'm gonna go talk to him. All right, guys, so I'm standing here with Junior. And uh, how many septic fields have you done? None. None. And he's out there asking questions. He's already checking grade. He's out here shoveling without any complaints. What do you think so far? Good. What do you like about being out here? Um, helping. Helping? What about what about doing hard work do you like? Um, it's fun and it works your muscles out. It does work your muscles out. What do you like about heavy equipment? Um, how they run and stuff. Yeah? You want to do something with heavy equipment when you grow up or do you have something else you um, want to do? Something else. Something else? What do you want to do? Either be a YouTuber or go fishing. Nice. YouTuber going fishing, I'm, I'm digging that. Can I get a knuckle bump? Knuckle bump. All right guys, we're gonna get back to it. And Junior's gonna work with us. He's learning. Just like I talked to you guys, if Junior can do it, get into this trade and learn, and I'll already be out here checking grade at nine years old, you guys can do it. So we're gonna get back to it, we'll catch you in a minute. So honestly right there, that, that whole little interview is exactly why I love this trade, is because the equipment, everything is awesome on its own. But you've got dad out here running the skid and he brought his son along just to ride around but his son's also learning the trades too and yeah he might want to be a fisherman right now or a youtuber and that's awesome and that's great but there's a good chance he developed a passion for this industry and he wants to become an operator so it's awesome that his dad's willing to do this it's awesome that he's willing to come out here and work i mean the work ethic on this kid is amazing quite literally he's been out here for the last hour shoveling no complaints whatsoever any job we give him he's just doing it no questions asked so so anyway i just wanted to share that with you guys we're gonna jump back in there this is an awesome industry i love it so we're gonna go back to work i'll catch you guys in a bit all right guys so i thought i would give you a quick idea of what's going on so you can see there they've got the header built and they've got it stuck up or propped up on two by sixes to keep it at the right height to make enough stone underneath it and the skid is dumping stone We have one of our runs here that's going to end just a little bit further. It's going to come out to about here. Code is it's got to be two, two feet off of the bank. And then uh, they'll start to build the footer down here. And so you can see he's just covering the top with about two inches of stone. So anyway, that's the, uh, that's the beginnings of a drain field. So we're going to keep progressing on that. I'll, uh, I'll switch you back over to the time lapse so you can kind of watch the progression of everything. But that is the gist of it. You're basically bedding it with a foot of stone, um, and then you've got a cover of about two inches of stone, and then it'll get buried over with topsoil. So we'll keep rolling, catch you in a bit. Um. 